What is it giving? Sephora Swag! In today's video, I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me on a journey as I show you guys what a typical day looks like for me as a beauty content creator. I'll be sharing my experiences and activities throughout the day, giving you guys kind of like a behind the scenes look at my life. So starting with this particular day, I had a very important event to attend. So I had to get up really early. I recently joined the Sephora squad and they organized a special welcome event in LA. This meant I had to travel there. So to make sure I was ready for the day, I set my alarm clock for six o'clock in the morning. As soon as I woke up, the first thing I did was freshen up by brushing my teeth, taking care of my oral hygiene, hygiene is important and it just helps me feel more awake and ready for the day. So after brushing my teeth, I decided to take a shower. I knew the flight to LA would be around five hours long, so I wanted to make sure that I felt clean and refreshed. First ever brand trip. I'm thinking like, is this real? At this moment, I was feeling very excited. At the same time, I was really nervous because number one, I could not imagine the amazing opportunities that I was going to experience in LA. At the same time, I was gonna discover new products and meeting other influencers and just connecting with the Sephora community. But I did experience a little bit of social anxiety, especially meeting people that I've never met before and only saw online, but this event was a chance for me to showcase my passion for beauty and share it with other people. I was actually relieved that my flight to LA only got delayed 30 minutes, especially considering the number of flights that were experiencing even longer delays. I was super relieved that I arrived on time. As soon as I arrived, I headed straight to the hotel where I saw that the Sephora team had organized the room so well. Walking into the hotel, I was so flabbergasted with how well they had decorated the place. They had amazing gifts that they prepared for us. They set up a whole bag filled with makeup products, skincare products, and even a whole Dyson. I was just completely stunned and couldn't believe how kind and generous the Sephora team had been. They also gave us gift cards that we could use at any Sephora store to buy whatever product we wanted. I was just overwhelmed with a sense of gratitude and thankfulness. After the long day of traveling, I was actually quite tired so I decided to take a quick nap to recharge and when I woke up, it was time for me to prepare for the welcome dinner. So the theme for the dinner was sparkles, which made the event more exciting. I have to admit, walking to the event, I was quite nervous. I'm naturally a very shy person, but luckily I bumped into Abigail, another beauty content creator. You guys may have already seen her channel. Definitely don't forget to show her support by checking out her channel in the description box below. She was incredibly friendly and so easy to talk to, which gave me much needed confidence and just made me easier to just walk in and meet new people. Throughout the welcome dinner, I had the pleasure of meeting so many amazing content creators and just getting connected with the Sephora team. It was just an awesome opportunity to network and build relationships with like-minded people who share the same passion for beauty and influencing. I felt very fortunate to be a part of such a welcoming community and to just have the chance to learn from and inspire others. So many people went up to the front to give speeches and each speaker shared their experience and just words of wisdom which really touched my heart and it inspired me to chase after my dreams. It was just such a wonderful experience to listen to all these incredible individuals who have achieved so much in their respective fields. Other than inspiring speeches, the food served at the event was absolutely delicious. They had so many different options to choose from, including chicken and salmon, and they even had a vegan dish. So I decided to go with the chicken, and the chicken was amazing. The following day was packed with various events, networking opportunities, and just chances to meet new people. The dress code for the day was casual, so I opted for a cute black crop top paired with loose fitting pants that I purchased from Zara. This was more of like a comfortable yet stylish type of look. 
So we got picked up in Sephora Squad buses, which would transport us to the Sephora Studios. Arriving at the studios, I was blown away by the stunning decor and just the ambience of the venue. When we arrived in the venue, we got to socialize a little bit to also get a few clips for vlogging and just interacting with people, getting to say hi to everybody. Then we were directed into a different room where we would be sitting down and being hosted by the Sephora presenters. Uh, yeah, we write for um, some major publications. We always have to stay top of trends, knowing what's going on, key ingredients. After we took a little break where I got to take some pictures, then we got back in and guess who popped up? Patrick Ta, you guys, I was just so excited because I've been watching him for a minute. So he came and gave us a master class on his new blushes and how to use his bronzers, which I absolutely love. We also got to meet Selena Gomez, which was amazing. She was actually supposed to show up in person, but due to certain circumstances, she could not show up. But her and her makeup artist gave us an amazing masterclass on their new eyeshadow sticks. And then after, Sephora showed us their actual studios where they have so many different products lined up. The studio looked so good. It was well organized. They had all the products on display that they have at Sephora and I saw some of my favorites displayed on there. We also got to take pictures and videos during this tour and just chill and hang out around this area. Then after we had a cocktail hour where we had some lunch and a few cocktails. This is where we also got to take a lot of pictures, got to socialize and network with the Sephora team and the Four team as well. I also got to meet some amazing creators that I didn't get to meet on the night of the dinner. And that was pretty much it for that day. Then the next day I had a a flight at 11 o'clock in the morning which was the day that I was leaving and it's just crazy to me because walking in I was actually really anxious but after leaving I just felt kind of sad that I was leaving because I had so much fun I'm really thankful that I got to be a part of the 2023 Sephora squad this is such a big big opportunity that I never imagined would be happening like this year I'm also really thankful as always to you guys that support me and watch me and just comment so many loving and amazing things and I just want to let you guys know that I definitely cherish and love this community that we've built here and for that I am always grateful. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life vlog. If you haven't caught up on my previous video definitely check it out right here but other than that I will see you guys in my next video. KLJ, welcome to a channel where it's popping.